Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I'm a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box, click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, we're going to discuss how you can use the principles of quantum physics to actually, number one, understand what you're doing when you're manifesting a different version of your specific person, and number two, how you can actually use these principles to bring out a new version of your specific person. This is what I'm going to discuss in today's video, so stay tuned. So one thing that I want you guys to have very, very clear in your mind, that is not necessarily very clear in everyone's mind, especially when you're first starting to manifest, is the whole concept of parallel realities, the whole concept of infinite realities. And by the way, I'm going to make a more um, general video in the near future explaining parallel realities, explaining infinite realities. But today's video is going to be a little more focused on recreating a specific person or more accurately bringing out a different version of them. Essentially what you're doing is you're bringing out a different reality in that person and a different experience with that person. So what most of us get wrong when we're first starting to manifest a specific person is that we think that we're actually changing that old version of them, we're taking that old version of them, and we are basically trying to change it into something new. So we think we're going to take a person who is not interested, a person who is not attentive, a person who might not be a very good communicator, a person who is not committing, and actually trying to change that version, what the, the current 3D is showing us, into something else, into someone who is attentive, someone who wants to commit, someone who loves us, who wants to be with us, someone who wants a long-term relationship, whatever it might be. And I know it can be very confusing because that is how it looks. Remember that the 3D works in a linear way, or at least that's how we perceive it. All we're able to see with our finite human mind is that current 3D, is the past circumstances, is the obstacles, or what we perceive as obstacles. And so what we put into our finite human mind is that we are trying to change the current reality. And I understand the confusion because it's, it's very easy to have that misunderstanding, to have that misconception, because this is how it seems, this is how it looks like, this is how it feels like. However, what you're doing in reality is that you're actually bringing about a new version of your specific person. You are not trying to change the old version, instead, you're bringing about a new version, a brand new version. So let me try to demonstrate this a little better. I actually thought I would use a little visual today to help you guys um, get the concept a little better and a little easier. So let's say this yellow cup is actually the old version of your specific person or the current version of your specific person, okay? This is the version of them who might not be committing to you, who might not be interested in you, who might not want a long-term relationship, who might have a third party, uh, who whatever, whatever traits they may have, whatever behavior they might be displaying that you don't like. This is the current version or the old version, if you prefer, okay? What you're doing is not trying to twist and turn this version, okay? You're not trying to change it in any way. You're actually pushing it to the side. You're actually remaining indifferent to this one, to this version. And instead, you are trying to bring about this version, the red cup, okay? So you have the old version, the yellow cup, and you have the new version, the red cup, and what you're doing when you're manifesting a different version of your specific person is that you're actually trading this version, the one that you don't like so much, the one that you don't prefer, for this version, which is the version that you want. This is the version that loves you, wants to be with you, is affectionate, is attentive, wants long-term commitment, doesn't have a third party, only has eyes for you, etc., etc. 
So what you're doing when you start dwelling into a new reality with your specific person in your imagination, when you start saturating yourself with all the thoughts, all the feelings, all the new assumptions, all the new beliefs about how your specific person is, how they're treating you, how they feel about you, how they feel about the relationship with you, you're not trying to change this in any way because look at that. I mean, how can I change it? It's, it's actually pretty solid, you know? And that version exists. That version of them exists. It is a real version, but so is this one. You may not be able to see it yet in the 3D, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It very much exists and is just as valid as this one. And it's just as real as this one. Both of these are real versions of the same person among many, many, many others, among many infinite versions. And what you're doing as you're shifting your attention away from this one is you're making this one disappear and fade away and you're making this one come in and stay, okay? And what you're doing by saturating yourself, saturating your inner energy, saturating your inner states with that new version that you actually desire to experience from your specific person is that you're establishing this version of them. You're establishing your specific person being attentive, loving, um, committing to you, only having eyes for you, only loving you, only wanting you, not entertaining other people and whatever else it is that you're desiring. So the reason why you're still seeing this version is simply because this is the version that is currently established in your consciousness. This is who you think they are dominantly. This is who you assume them to be. This is what you expect them to be. This is how you expect them to show up. And so they continue to confirm that. They continue to validate that by how they're showing up, okay? Once you let go of this, and mind you, it might be a gradual process. It might not be a linear process. It might feel a lot like back and forth. It might feel like this is giving its way to another version and then it's coming back and then the same and back and forth, back and forth. But essentially, when you're starting to let go of this one, you start to experience this one more and more and more and more. And the more you dwell on this one, the more you actually start assuming that your specific person is this version. This is how they're treating you. This is how they're showing up. I'm expecting them to show up this way. I'm expecting them to treat me this way. I'm expecting them to communicate this way. I'm expecting them to love me and behave in this way towards me then the more and more and more and more you actually establish this version. And there's going to come a day when this version has become dominant and you no longer see this version anymore. Now, another thing to keep in mind, and that has to do with how we perceive the 3D and how our finite human mind works, is that this version and this version might actually not look as different after all. I mean, they're going to look like the same person, they're going to sound like the same person, they're going to be talking like the same person, but how they're showing up towards you in your relationship, how they're behaving, how they're acting, perhaps even the things they're saying are going to be quite different. They're going to be aligned with this version that you are saturating yourself with. But because as I just said, this is how we perceive the 3D, we perceive it in a very, very linear way, in a very linear fashion, Okay, it doesn't mean that all the traits from this version are going to go away. It's only the traits from this version that you actually desire, the traits that you're actually saturating yourself with, the traits that you're aligning with in your new state, in your new reality, in your new dominant energy. Okay, so there may still be traits from this one, but they're going to be the traits that you do like, the traits that you do appreciate, the traits that you do want. So don't get confused, there's still that version. Different versions of people, just like different versions of reality, do not actually have to be radically different. They can look very, very similar, and there might just be one or two or three differences. There might even be small differences, depending on how you're changing your energy, how you're changing your perceptions, how you're changing your assumptions. This is what they reflect, okay? So the two versions might still feel very similar, which is why you might feel like, oh, I changed them. You didn't actually change them. You brought another version into the surface, another version of how they're showing up that just happens to have a lot of similarities with this version, with the old version, okay? And so this is why in the 3D, it feels like, oh, this person has changed. In reality, you're actually seeing a completely different version of themselves. 
And that doesn't only go for romantic SPs, it goes for any person in our reality. Whenever we experience a change in another person, that is a different version of that person that you are witnessing and you're experiencing right there. And this is why we keep saying in this channel, this is why I keep repeating that it is very, very important to change yourself, meaning change your perceptions of your specific person, change how you expect them to show up, change your assumptions, your beliefs, that is going to change your overall energy. That is going to change what you exude, what you project towards them and what they receive subconsciously and what they're going to reflect back to you. It's not going to be the same version. They might look similar. They might feel similar, but they're going to be two very different versions of the same person. So I'm hoping with this information and by doing this little visual with the two cups, that it helps you realize that you're not actually trying to change anybody. You're not trying to change anything in the current 3D. All you're doing is you're bringing forward, you're bringing forth a completely different reality, a completely different version of that person. Remember, all of us have infinite versions within ourselves. And so you're helping them with the change in your own energy, the change in your own perceptions, the change in your own assumptions and your own um, inner dominant state to actually bring out that new version of themselves and show up as a different person. So if you're manifesting a different version of your specific person, know that that version already exists and all you're doing is you're bringing it forth through your focus and through your attention and through the change in your perceptions, okay? You're not changing the current version, you're bringing forth a brand new version of that specific person. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.